Hi, I'm John Harlan. I'm the director of the Alpine Institute at LAS. And I'm Dan Patton. I'm a science teacher. We started the LETS study together about three years ago. And the LETS stands for the Local Elevation Transect Study. And this is a study that Lausanne and American School students are doing in their science classes. We're collecting biodiversity data, which means all the different types of plants and animals that are on these plots. And we're measuring trees in order to see how much they're growing over time. And we're doing some soil studies and decomposition, so a number of things. We have forest all around us. Um, all we have to do is walk out the front door of our school building, and within a couple of minutes, we can be in a forest setting. You do have to do tree mapping. You have to do um, baby trees, temperature, photography. What I'm doing is I'm marking down which trees are which. So if it's a conifer or the type of tree it is, and putting it on this grid. We have to plot down which tree is where, and then we have to prove it to the other scientists. Well, I'm measuring the circumference of the trees. I think it's mainly to see um, how fast the trees are growing, and to help the scientists with whatever investigation they are having right now. Imagine this, the, the Amazon jungle. There's not many conifer trees, are there? But did all the conifer trees die? No, they're best suited to some, what kind of places are they generally best suited to the conifers? Colder places. Colder places, harsher places, drier places. The Lausanne is amazing because we're right here on the side of a mountain. And so our campus elevation is about 1400 meters, but the valley is about 500 meters. And we go up to the mountain behind us at 2300 meters. And so you can see all these different changes that happen as the altitude goes up. And that really reflects climate change because it's a difference in climate that makes for the different vegetation zones. And as time goes by and the planet warms, then um, those zones are going to be going uphill. And so we'll be able to watch that happen. The quality of the work that the students produce varies considerably. Some are very interested in doing a good job and others are not so interested. And on the teachers and how much we've inspired them to understand what we're doing. And of course, that'll make them do a better or worse job. Citizen scientists um, can produce very high quality work as long as they're trained and they understand why they're doing what they're doing. Um, and in the case of our study, I think with each passing year, the quality of the work has gotten better and better because more and more kids understand why we're collecting this data. More and more kids have practiced collecting the data and more and more kids realize that they can actually collect this data and do it um, precisely. Let's study, we have started it to be a long-term study. So the idea is that we keep collecting the same data over a long period of time. The students will keep changing, but we'll be doing the same measurements from the same plots. And so we can watch the changes that happen in those plots over time. So hopefully it will continue the way it's been going with some improvements, but always collecting very similar or the same data.